Hi, welcome back everybody, it's Mike Newton. Back in the back garden, it's our self-isolation swing tip series. And today we're going to focus a little bit on the chipping. So I've got a really good, simple drill to help you control the pitch length of your little sort of chips. So as we know, with chipping, there's a lot of feel involved, isn't there? And there's also so many different scenarios we get faced with when they're out on that golf course. That certain landing area to then let that ball release out. We're going to be choosing possibly different lofts, wedges, nine irons, eight irons for sort of the low ones. So so our land area is quite a crucial thing to sort of focus on and this particular drill I'm going to go through today will help you to really dial in your feel for that first land area. Okay, so we've got ourselves seven golf balls here and then we've got ourselves seven separate landing areas. So obviously we've got the first land area, two, three, four, five, six and obviously the longest one number seven so if we've got all those different landing stations i idea of the game is obviously to hit a shot land it in the first one land it in the second one a bit like a ladder series isn't it third four five and all the way up to obviously seven okay so to start off with we're just going to hit maybe three balls to each of the seven sections also i'm not going to do all that in this particular video because it could take a little bit too much time I'm going to hit three to that first one, and again we're focusing on the land area, this is the crucial bit. Now I'm going to choose my pitching wedge, obviously you can mix this up, you can go in, into that quite depth with this and obviously choose your nine iron. Obviously the lower the loft the more you're going to see the ball run out aren't we, but obviously we're going to focus on our land area in this particular drill. So we're just going to try and get off to that first land area, or that first land in between those first two clubs. That's good. Perfect. Okay, so that obviously that's a little bit of an easy one, isn't it? We're going to get start to build up a little bit of an understanding of how far back, how far forward we're going to be taking the club. Again, it's the feel aspect of how far you're going to want to throw that golf ball. Okay, so same exercise, three golf balls, but this time I'm going to land it in that second section. Perfect, again, right in the middle. Oh, a little bit short that time. And that was good as well. You may want to do that with five balls and just sort of repeat, keep repeating that, get that feel for those, uh, get that land there in those certain sections. Okay, so like I say, you're going to repeat that maybe all the way sort of down all those seven sections. You'll start to get a little bit of a feel of how the length of the stroke is just going to sort of obviously get a little bit longer and um, just to throw that ball that little bit further. So once you've done that, you spent a bit of time, you've got a little bit of an understanding of the feel of those particular distances, we're going to make it competitive now and have a little bit of a challenge with yourself. And obviously it puts that little bit of that competitive edge on it, similar to what you're probably going to experience when you're out in that golf course. You only get that one go, that pressure situation, can you deliver what we're trying to do. So, ladder game, one ball in each section. Okay, so if you get it in the first one, you can move on to the next one. If you get it in the second section, you go into the third and so on and you've got to try and complete all seven sections. If you miss, you go right back to the start of the ladder, so the first section again. It gets a little bit nerve wracking when you get towards the end. So let's see how far I can get this going. Hopefully all the way, I've got seven balls, so hopefully all the way here. Okay, that's good, that's one. Good, that's two. Good, that's three. Oh, that was just short of four. So I got to three. I'm going to have to go back to the beginning again. That's six. Last one for a full house. six inches short I'm gonna get a start back to the beginning again so you can see it gets quite competitive it puts that little bit of pressure on you which is great for when you can get out in that um, sort of scoring environment obviously out on that golf course so see how you get on with that obviously you can make that a little bit more difficult by making the, the sort of ladder stations a little bit tighter together so obviously your landing area is much much smaller makes it a bit tougher again doesn't it so you can make it as hard or as easy as you want but I think if you go through through that quite well quite quickly quite easily make it a little bit smaller make it a bit tougher put that a little bit more pressure on yourself okay guys so there we go there's a nice little simple tip to really sharpen up your first land area uh, when you're sort of chipping in and around that green so something you can do in the back garden 
again maybe it varies up with a couple of different sort of clubs if you want to but post your comments down below let me know your thoughts on that particular video this is really going to help you sharpen up your short game we know it's so important when you get out on the golf course with the short game's pretty good we tend to score pretty well as well and hopefully that can obviously get this handicap uh, down when we get back out on that golf course so thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel and especially uh, the comments I've been getting on the self-isolation swing tip series it's been really really encouraging so I'm going to try and keep these going as much as I possibly can if you haven't subscribed please do so ring that bell so when you do get a video landed on the channel you'll be the very first one to get a notification and the first ones to watch it hopefully we'll catch up tomorrow for another swing tip